My name is Dino DiCarlo, and I am the Armand and Elena Harapetian Professor of Engineering and Medicine at UCLA. I serve as the Vice Chair of the Department of Bioengineering. I'm also a Professor of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. I joined UCLA in 2008 after conducting PhD work at Berkeley and a postdoctoral stint at Harvard Medical School and Massachusetts General Hospital, where I learned a lot about unmet needs in healthcare. Having great examples from my mentors, Luke Lee and Mehmet Toner, I've always been interested in making sure technologies we develop have real impact. I'm not satisfied if our work ends with just a publication in a journal. I want the technologies we develop to get you know, out of this ivory tower that we're in. With this being my North Star, it has guided how we do research in the lab, uh, including making sure technologies and discoveries are reproducible, address a large potential market, and that intellectual property is protected. I realized early on that you needed these other elements in order to obtain the significant investment for the long journey to bring technologies from the bench to the bedside. Our first startup, Cytovale, has completed this trek. Cytovale now sells a first-of-its-kind product to detect sepsis, an abnormal response to infection, and do this within minutes. So where did this all start? Uh, in the lab, my student Henry, another student Danny, and I invented the deformability cytometry technology. Basically, we used high-speed microscopy cameras that are thousands of times faster than the slow-mo mode on your, on your iPhone and fluid channels to align cells and squeeze them. We, by taking pictures of thousands of cells as they are squeezed, we can get information about their structure and how they are activated all very rapidly. So thousands of cells per second. This invention was patented at UCLA and licensed to Cytovale. And now Cytovale's IntelliCept test is being deployed in hospitals to help save lives and healthcare costs. Cytovale is one of five companies that I founded that are actively bringing UCLA inventions to the world. More recently, we've been exploring a new type of technology we call lab on a particle technology. This research direction has been funded by a $4 million grant from the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, or CZI. We've brought in researchers across LA, including from Caltech and USC, to collaborate on this program. Uh, let me tell you about one of the projects that is supported by CZI, Nanovials and how we are using nanovials to identify new tumor-targeting molecules that can advance therapies that use our own immune system to recognize and kill cancer. Picture a tiny vial that can hold one cell and the things it releases, that's a nanovial. And the great thing is we can study these cells using equipment we already have in our labs. Now, what makes nanovials special is that they can also grab onto certain immune cells called T cells. Each T cell sensor protein is unique, and finding ones that are specific to cancer cells is a needle in a haystack problem. Um, but by coding nanovials with cancer-related target molecules, we can fish out T cells with sensors that may be useful for fighting cancer. Importantly, when the cancer-specific T cells stick to the coded nanovials, they get active and release helpful substances. We can see and measure these substances right in that same tiny container, and this is critically important since it allows us to confirm it is the right cell and not just sticking by chance. So we're not just looking at how cells stick, we're also seeing how they react and what they release, and we can do this for millions of cells quickly and easily. What's the big deal about this? Well. It helps us to find specific T cells that are important for fighting cancer or autoimmune diseases and the DNA sequences that code for their sensors. This new method makes it faster and more accurate to find those DNA sequences, which can then be introduced into many other cells to make armies of cancer killing cells to treat patients. The big advantages of these lab on a particle technologies are the flexibility to use it for different applications and the ease in which we can distribute the technology to others. I'd like to take this opportunity to encourage folks to reach out if they would be interested in collaborating or using the technology for their own research. Thanks so much. It's been a pleasure sharing a bit of my journey.